Okay, let's go score goals. Let's go score. Uh, it was a lot of fun today. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the guys are a little bit nervous getting out there for the first time. New gear, ice gets chopped up real quick, so uh, there's a little bit of nerves out there. But for the most part, they had some some really good pace to to the practice, and the execution was was good. So it was, it was fun to start the week off. Yeah, you talk about pace. How do you like the intensity overall over the last couple of days here? It's been good. These young men go through a lot um, in terms of the, the off-ice stuff, obviously the on-ice stuff just, just kicking off today, but um, you know, it's been a whirlwind for a lot of them coming right from the draft, uh, right in here. There's, there's the nerves of just coming to a development camp, but um, I think the messaging for them has been to take it all in, um, you know, be a sponge, learn as much as you can from this experience, not so much a tryout, but just an opportunity to, to work on and develop those skills that are necessary at the next level. How excited were you to do a camp where it's really individualized and tailored to the athlete? I think that's that's what is is necessary these days. Um, you know, it's it's called a development camp for a reason. There's there's certain things that guys need to work on uh, within their individual game, and uh, the fact that we have such a, a large staff here this week will give them the opportunity to get some more one-on-one -on -one time or small group sessions uh, in which they can focus on those particular things that they need to work on. So. I think it's really important that it's not just a, a one-size-fits-all type of uh, mentality here. It's, it's the staff know the players and they know what they need to work on, so giving them that opportunity this week is important. When you're uh, coaching these development camps, does it sort of take you back to when you were a player going through the same thing? Very much so. Um, again, it comes back to uh, being around all these new faces and obviously trying to put your best foot forward in front of, um, in front of your NHL team. Um, so I think that experience, having that experience and along with the rest of the staff, uh, Hank and Danny and Como and, and Sammy uh, Kroger, knowing what it takes to be out there and, and knowing what they may be going through, uh, I think allows us to, to relate a little bit more to them and, and help them through the process. How excited are you to be out there with the rest of the coaching staff and, and how much fun has that been for you this, this time? I, it's been really fun. Um, I think that's one thing that uh, the Canucks always pride themselves on is having good people around in the organization. And starts with Hank and Danny. Uh, tough to get better than those two, and then and then right on down. It, um, Mike Komaserik and Michael Samuelson, Jason Krog. They're they're just good people. Um, so it's it's been fun just to hang around with them. Um, and more importantly, you know, their their heads and their hearts are in the right place when it comes to wanting to help these guys get better and uh, improve their game. Congratulations on your new role down in Abbotsford. I'm kind of curious, um, you know, since you'll be in Abbotsford, obviously it's a bit of a developmental league. I'm just kind of curious with some of your young younger players, what your expectations of the of the bar for next year? My main mindset going in um, is is better every day, and that's you know when you talk about it being a developmental league, it's obviously developing the skills, and and one of those is is the pro mindset of having to do it every day and improving your, your game every day. Um, so for those young guys uh, and the whole team, really, it's, it's, it's quite a young team. The mindset on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be, we got to get better. You know, every practice has got to be sharp. We're going to be better than we were yesterday, better than we were last week. And, and in that kind of mindset, mindset and those baby steps, you know, we'll, we'll see greater growth. Kind of touching on Lindsay's question there with the smaller camp. It's, I found it kind of interesting that you guys only had 28 invitees this week. Was that just to try to get more of a one-on-one -on -one and trying to get? Yeah, it's, it's definitely by design. Um, you know, it's one thing to, to say you're having a development camp and bring 40 guys in where, you know, you may have less contact individually with them, may have less conversations with the guys. Whereas here, again, with the number of staff that we have, we feel we have the opportunity to to work with guys in smaller settings, smaller groups, uh, get them the repetitions and the touches that they need, um, thus making it more beneficial to them and, and really making it about their development. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.